By day five, the two identical blastocysts have reached the womb. Now they face one of the most critical events in their nine-month odyssey, one that could dramatically affect their fortunes in the womb and beyond. When they were born, Jake weighed two and a half kilos and his brother Tom, half a kilo. And yet they're identical, born just minutes apart. How could twins with the same genes look so different? The answer may lie not in their DNA, but in events that occurred in the environment they shared, the womb. And the first, most critical event is implantation. Around day six, the blastocyst must implant in the wall of the womb, securing its position for the next 250 days growth. But timing is everything. Each twin will rely on a placenta to supply it with oxygen and nutrients, but the placenta only starts to develop after implantation. So blastocysts that split early, before they implant, each get their own placenta, but those that split late, after implantation, must share one. A shared placenta may mean one twin receives less nourishment than the other. As a result, it grows much more slowly, a condition called selective intrauterine growth restriction. There are even rare instances when identical twins have their own placentas and yet develop this condition. Identicals Jake and Tom are one such case. Their different weights are the result of events that occurred long before they're born, but their effects may last a lifetime. In fact, the later the egg splits, the more critical the situation can become. This is Lakshmi, a three-year-old girl from northern India. Amazingly, only a few months ago, she had an additional set of arms and legs. And x-rays revealed an extra pelvis. Strictly speaking, these don't belong to Lakshmi, but to her headless, inverted and undeveloped twin called a parasitic twin. And yet the difference between a parasitic twin and a healthy twin is just a matter of days. In most cases, identical twins are created during a 12 to 13 day window following fertilization. After this time, the basic embryo starts to organize itself into the first stages of the crude embryonic body. It may be that if the embryo splits during this organization, separation is never fully completed and the two embryos remain fused. This rare reproductive accident occurs once in every 200,000 births and usually results in conjoined twins, identical twins joined at the head or body. Parasitic twins are, in essence, conjoined twins, except one twin is totally dependent on the other fully functional one. In Lakshmi's case, her headless twin relied entirely on her for survival. In November 2007, Lakshmi underwent a delicate 27-hour operation to remove the malformed twin's unwanted arms and legs and to reconstruct her pelvis. Without this, she would most likely have died in her teens. The operation was a success, and the doctors hope she will walk unaided. <laughs> 